Welcome to our indoor training session. Today we have a rather cheeky 20 minute on and off session. If you haven't joined us before, my name's Mark, and we've also got Heather here. We're gonna be following this session to going through the pain with you. When I say an on and off session, the on means hard, the off means easy. And they're rather short intervals we've got here today. At the moment, we're just spinning our legs. We're gonna start a warm up in just over 30 seconds time. I'm gonna do a three minute warm up at rather easy intensity, then into a minute at aerobic intensity as we start to warm the legs up a little bit more. And then we go into 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, four times through. We then have two minutes 30 recovery, and then we go into eight lots of 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So we're gonna be changing around quite a lot here, but we've got five seconds now, and we start our warm up at three minutes, intensity level of five out of 10, and a nice high cadence of 100 RPM. So yeah. here we go. That sounds like a lot to digest that Mark has just talked us through, but don't worry, we're here to help. That's the whole point of this game. So you're obviously gonna have the clock on screen, but if it gets to the point where it starts to really hurt and you can't even open your eyes through the grimace, we're gonna be here with you every pedal stroke of the way. So we'll be giving you the countdowns, the change of interval, and also we'll be suffering alongside you. So don't know if that's any consolation. Yeah, um, and as always, uh, feel free to increase the length of the warm up or cool down. You could start before this video, or you can maybe just pause the video now, do a little bit extra. But as I did say before, we have got three minutes at this intensity before then doing another minute as we increase the effort level just slightly. That'll get the muscles a little bit more warm, get the blood pumping a little bit faster to those muscles. And then we should be ready to go for those hard intervals. They're gonna be around an effort level of nine out of 10. And then the recoveries, quite simply, are one out of 10. Just moving the legs, turning them over, keeping them spinning, trying to flush any waste products, any lactic acid that's settling in your legs so you're ready to go for the next. This is gonna bite. There's no beating <laughs> around the bush on this one. It is gonna be hard, it's gonna hurt, but let's stick in there throughout. If you do find your power is dropping off, don't worry, just focus on the intensity and the effort level. Yeah, exactly. It's You get out of this what you put in and it is about that effort that you're putting in and whatever pace you might be going. This is a great thing about indoor training because you can just work as hard as you can. You're, you're safe, you're not going to go anywhere. You might just get a little bit hot and sweaty. Well, you should be getting hot and sweaty, trust me. Yeah, at the moment, we're focusing on keeping the cadence high, 100 RPM. We've got just over a minute remaining, then we'll go into another minute where we just increase the effort level just slightly from five out of 10 up to seven out of 10. <laughs> so yeah, we're doing a good job here, getting ourselves nice and warm ahead of a rather punchy session where we're actually accumulating quite a lot of intensity, quite a lot of hard work, probably around what I'd say is like a zone five intensity if you do use zones. So we're gonna get a lot of bang for our buck within 20, 20 minutes. Yeah, definitely. This is a really great workout and your mind doesn't really have chance to kind of get stuck in one zone or one effort level because it's gonna be changing pretty thick and fast. But now it's important to try and keep those legs getting up to 100. It might feel a little bit quicker than you're used to, but this is vital right now for this warm up because when we get ready to the main bit, we need to be ready to go. Yeah, so we, we've got just under 15 seconds remaining, 10 seconds remaining, then we're going to just one minute, still keeping aerobic, effort level of seven out of 10. We're actually dropping the cadence down to around 90 RPM, just so we start to lay a little bit more power down. But feel free, obviously, to push above that, which is the main aim, just to keep you or get you as warm as possible and prepared as possible. Now, very important point here, on these hard intervals, the 30 seconds to start off with before we then go into 20 seconds, they're all seated. So try not to get up out of the saddle to lay the power down and trying to lay down as much power as possible from within the saddle, which will be hard, particularly towards the end. You'll probably be wanting to get up out of the saddle, yeah. but just try to maintain the best you possibly can. If you see your power dropping off, it's not a problem. Just try to keep at it, try to keep the effort there at, at the very least. Yeah, right, these final 20 seconds before we start to hit the really tough stuff. So you know what you've got coming now. All right, so within 10 seconds, we're going to start a 30 second interval. Nine out of 10 intensity, five, four, three, 
Three, one, let's go, go, go. 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 Oh. All right, All 110 right. RPM as well, which is going to be upping it more than you have in the warm-up. It's going to feel fast for the legs, but so is that effort level going to be high. So basically, it's just go for it. 15 seconds remaining, we're over halfway. As Heather said, 110 RPM. Focus on keeping that cadence high. Great job, guys. Four, three, two, one. And now we've got 30 seconds. Just really easy. One out of 10 intensity. Cadence around 80 RPM or whatever you feel is best to allow yourself to recover. But don't back right off, don't switch off because in 15 seconds, we're going again. We've got three more of these before we've got a nice long recovery. And then we have another eight. Yeah. Now feel free to make sure you're changing the gears accordingly so you can keep that RPM as close to the target level as possible. Okay, Here we go. Off we go. You might take a few seconds just to find that cadence again, find that right resistance on your bike, but you'll soon start to know where you've got to go to for each of these because nothing changes. Okay. That's it. 10 seconds remaining. Come on, keep at it, guys. Well done. Five, four, three, two, one, and easy. Okay. Make sure you don't launch out of the blocks at the start of each of these efforts. Yes, we want to work hard. We don't want to spike your heart rate right up so you're struggling to recover. We do have quite a few intervals ahead of us. Oh, we do, yeah. It is really a matter of trying to gauge this effort and the pacing. But like Mark said, it's the effort level that counts. So don't get too hung up on other numbers. Just concentrate on how hard you're working. Here we go. And off we go. Go on, 110 RPM and nine out of 10 intensity. Come on, good work guys. This is rep number three. Oh yeah. Doing a great job. All We've right. got 15 seconds remaining. Keep that cadence high. Oh, you're starting to feel the burn now. I certainly am, but it's five seconds to go and another break. Come on, three, two, two one, go. and. Just keep the legs turning over. 80 RPM if you can. Try not to slow right down. Very easy to almost bring your legs to a stand still, to a stop. Yeah. Keep them moving. We've got one more, and then we go into, we have a 30 second recovery. Oh, sorry. We've got one more, and then we go into two minutes 30 recovery spin. Two, one, off we go. All right, think of this as the last one of this first block. Give it everything you've got at the moment. That's it, 20 seconds to go. And then we'll get a well-deserved longer rest. That's what you're starting to need now, halfway through. Into the last 10 seconds. Really focus on keeping those legs moving fast. Final five now. Keep pushing. Two, one. Well done, guys. Two minutes 30, recovery, one out of 10 intensity. Get that cadence up to 80 RPM. I know that's fairly low cadence, but it's very easy, as I said before, just drop completely off. If you like, get some water on board now. Stay hydrated. I think you should be, for a one out of 10, really dropping down through the gears if you've gone from a nine to a one. And the cadence is only dropping down to 80, like Mark said, so really feel free to drop down through many gears and the recovery is important here. This is part of the session. The emphasis is on the two extreme ends of the effort that you're working at. So really feel okay. So as long as you're keeping those legs moving to let your heart rate drop right down. Yeah, and given that all the efforts are seated, feel free at this point to just get up out of the saddle, give your bum a bit of a break from the saddle or just sit up Oh, so you're not resting on the handlebars. Brilliant work, guys. We have just over, a, just under a minute 30 remaining on this easy recovery. And then we now go into eight lots of 20 on 10 seconds off. So really short recoveries here. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> we are gonna be working very hard for 20 seconds. 10 seconds obviously is not very long to be recovering 
between, but really try and stick with it. As we said before, if you find your power dropping off, don't worry, don't panic, just try and keep the effort level there at the very least, or even just the cadence. But we're doing a brilliant job here, just a minute, under a minute remaining, and we'll start this 20 on, 10 off. Yeah, this is great. This one is going to be, you know, have to be on it for the short changes. It's going to come pretty thick and fast, but we're here with you. We're going to be giving you the guidance, giving you the warnings, just like we have done. But it's going to be even quicker this time with those really short rests, but also short efforts. Yeah, and when we start this first block, we will actually be halfway through the whole session. Oh. So although we do have eight blocks still to go, it is gonna, the end is going to come around pretty quick. Yeah, that's good to know. There's a real incentive there. You think this is going to fly by. And the harder you work, the quicker the time will go because you won't have time to notice it. Well, 10 seconds to go. And then 20 seconds, 9 out of 10. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Good work, guys. Come on. 20 seconds, 9 out of 10, 110 RPM. Keep pushing. 10 seconds remaining, we're halfway through. Come on. Five seconds remaining, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep that cadence up. Two, one, into 10 seconds recovery. I'd advise you staying in the same gear. Haven't got long before we go again. Three, two, one, let's go. Get that cadence up quickly. Okay, once yeah. you've got there, you've just got to hold it. Once the legs are spinning, you've got to keep them spinning. This is such a short interval. Final five seconds. Two, one, <laughs> ten seconds recovery. Keep the legs moving. One out of ten. 80 RPM if you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Go, go, go. Oh. 20 right. seconds. This will be starting to hurt now, but just focus on each block, one at a time. They're all separate efforts, and every single one counts. So just go with one at a time. Here we are. There's five seconds to go with this one. There we go. 10 seconds recovery. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. All right, told you these were gonna come pretty quickly. That rest soon gets absorbed. But on the plus side, the 20 second efforts soon go by too. Halfway through it already. Come on, keep it up. Keep those legs at that high RPM. Three, two, one. 10 seconds recovery. We are halfway through this second block of reps. Two, one, let's go. Keep pushing down through the legs, through the pedals, trying to apply the power as best as possible. Think about pushing down all the way through the pedal action and so that we pull up as well. Come on, keep pushing, 110 RPM. Don't let the cadence drop off. Two, one, there we go, 10 seconds recovery. Oh, brilliant work, guys. We're doing it with you, we're feeling your pain. We've got this, so come on. And off we go again. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good work, guys. That is six reps down. Two to go. Oh yeah, we are well past the hardest bit now. Three. But don't let that focus two, go. One. Go, go, go. Come on, we're so close. That's it. Come on, guys, halfway through this penultimate set. There we go. Five. Keep pushing. Three, two, one. 10 seconds recovery. Come on, this is it. All right. Come on, let's go. Let's go, go, final effort. Go, 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 go. This is it, give it everything now. You've got this, the end is so in sight. We are into the final 10 seconds, come on. Push, push, push. Come on, five seconds. Three, two, one. Well done, guys. Oh. 
Brilliant There's 10 work. seconds recovery. And then we go into an aerobic effort. Just four minutes, around a seven out of 10. Okay, here we go. So seven out of 10, don't back right off. Don't stop pedaling. Trying to keep the cadence around 90 RPM. Very easy to drop off of your cadence, drop off of the intensity. Keep pushing. And then after this four minutes, we have two minutes, really easy cool down. Just four minutes to go, stick with it. This is the bit where it gets really mentally demanding. Our body's telling us to stop. Our legs are telling us to stop. Oh, you're doing a great job there, Mark, talking so much through all of this, getting us to the other end. This is now just solidifying those high-end efforts we've done with a nice back up, and it gives you time to mentally digest what you've done, but still to keep focusing. So imagine this is the last push of a race, of an effort, whatever your focus might be. And this now is a chance to just bring it all together and make it so worthwhile. Yeah, this is what we like to call back end fatigue. Your legs are tired and we're still asking more of them. And this is actually where some of the best training benefits come from. As Heather said, think of it like the last part of a race. Maybe it's the, you're approaching the crest of the hill your rivals around you are floundering and you are keep you're pushing on it's just two and a half minutes remaining and you're at the top keep going guys great job just don't slack off now come on you really want to make all of this count and this really is the final effort so 90 rpm might feel still quite high so you've got to keep that focus keep those legs into a rhythm now so just over two minutes remaining and you should have found the zone that you're working in and all you need to do is keep the legs moving at that same pace and stay with us come on well done everyone fantastic work so close to the end here but keep pushing <coughs> keep that cadence nice and high we've got one minute 45 remaining. That's brilliant work, everybody. We're doing can, this together. Yeah, if you can up your cadence at all, that would be fantastic. If you can't, just maintain what you are doing at the moment. You're doing a brilliant job. We're so close to the end. Come on. One minute and 20 seconds That's it. remaining. Yeah, the end is in sight now. Like we said, we've done the real spicy stuff. This is just a little bit of extra hard work to make the rest and the recovery and this whole training benefit that much greater. Yeah, try and think about your legs. Relax your body. Just pushing down through those pedals. Nice, smooth pedal actions. Go on, under a minute to go now. 50 seconds. We're so close. Come on, guys. We've got this. That timer is ticking down, but still concentrate on your legs. Keep it going. This is the final seconds now. Under a minute. But every bit is going to count. We're going to make it count together. Yeah, 30 seconds remaining. Push all the way until that final second. It can be very easy. When our legs are tired, we start to see the end in sight and we start to ease off too early. Just keep pushing all the way to the line, 15 seconds, come on. Good work guys. Seven out of 10, 90 RPM. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant work into a two minute warm down here. Really nice and easy. Effort level, one out of 10. Keep the legs moving, 80 RPM or higher if you can. And of course, feel free to extend this out, do a longer warm down. It's a hard session, but quite a lot within 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, I think you guys should all give yourselves a pat on the back. I think we should give Mark a high five for getting us through that. Mark, <laughs> give me a high five, good work. Well done, Heather. Well, you guys know that you're gonna reap the benefits from this, trust yeah. me, and make sure you really do all of this warm up and feel free, like Mark said, to carry on beyond it. And if you are getting off now, then try and finish it up with a little bit of stretching, so maybe some foam rolling, anything that's gonna help just your legs recover, because trust me, you're gonna feel it tomorrow otherwise. Yeah.
and feel free to revisit this session. See if your numbers improve from one session to the next. You've done a brilliant job today. We've just got under a minute remaining. But I hope you have enjoyed today's session. Although it was very hard. <laughs> you can enjoy it now. That's how I like to see it. The harder it is, the more enjoyable it is afterwards. So you should be feeling really happy right now. I am. <laughs> Yeah. Well, thanks everyone for joining today. Um, we covered quite a lot there within 20 minutes. So if you have enjoyed today's session, please do give us a thumbs up and a like for this video. And we have loads more videos like this, lots more indoor training videos. So head on over to our channel if you want to see more of those and maybe subscribe to the channel. Yeah. In the meantime. We've got plenty of other stuff coming up, but feel free to come back and visit these whenever you want and let us know how you found it as well. You can do that in the comments section below. We'd love to hear from you. Yeah, thanks everyone ever so much. Great work, guys.